Hui! Aloha, my mahalo nui for everyone coming today. Um, aloha! Um, I, I always like, what should I talk about? But I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I found myself in this position. Um, I do have three children. I am an alumni and legacy student of Kamehameha Schools, the only Native Hawaiian Christian school on this island. Um, Imoa, but unfortunately, what ha what woke me up was when last year my daughter was mandated to do a medical procedure or spit her very sacred spit into a tube in order to attend school. Um, our Native Hawaiian children were exploited for our beliefs, for our belief in our immunity, for our belief in in Io and Alani or Kiakua, in our beliefs, um, in our immune system. Like I said. And our kids experienced really bad discrimination, bullying, harassment, singling out, and um, yes. and really just, it was an attack on our aloha as Kanaka. And as people of Hawaii, aloha is the essence of who we are. And the fact that our kids were um, being mistreated, were being undervalued, and the purity of their hearts were being sacrificed um, fast forward to December of 2020 when our kids were forced to wear a tracking device around their heart, on their, on their hearts. Every day at school, their movements were tracked by a Native Hawaiian and Christian school. Their movements, everything they did, they had record of them and we asked, where is this data going? What is this technology? This has radiation. Can we say no? And we were denied. We were told, we were called unibombers, we were called hypocrites. We were told to go live off in a shed somewhere for questioning this technology. And this happened in December of last year. Fast forward to this year, we are forced to sign a re-enrollment contract for our child. Basically it says, we give all our consent, medical, behavioral, psychological, we will not be able to know what you're doing with our child. We will encourage you to tell us, but we're not gonna tell you. That's where we're at now. So as Children's Health Defense, we provide legal help, we provide fundraising, we, we hold events, we're advocates for our kids. And I'm asking you to join us, be the guard, stand guard, be the Kahili bearers for our children because they are in need of being protected. They, they are born with the innate sense of aloha. What founded this land, what founded this nation is on the values of aloha. Teach your kids what this means. This isn't just a word. This is a, this is a value. This is a fundamental essence of what, what it means to be Hawaiian and what it means to live here. Teach your kids what aloha means. Everyone say, e akahai. E akahai. That means to be kind. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Speak sweet things to yourself. Teach your kids that. L, the L in aloha means to have lokahi, to live in unity, to be agreeable. The third letter in aloha, olu olu, to be, uh, to be compassionate, to be generous. The fourth letter in aloha, ha a ha, to be humble, to live in modesty. And the last letter, ahunui, to be patient and perseverant. Teach our kids this. They don't need to learn the other stuff. Yeah. This is what Hawaii is built on, and this is what, at Children's Health Defense, the Hawaii chapter, we plan to continue to protect the sanctity, the purity, and the innocence of our kids. Thank you.